This is Photoshop from the ground up. I'm your host, Peter Law, photographer and designer. In the last episode, we looked at how to crop images. In this episode, I'm going to pick up where I left off and talk about how to crop and straighten images. This image here is uh, a bit crooked. Now, if I go to my tools panel right here on the side, I want to select my ruler tool, which is hidden by default behind the eyedropper tool. And I, for eyedropper, there's where the eyedropper tool is. And I'm going to click and hold on it. And I'm going to get my ruler tool. So I've got this. And the horizon makes a great line. The horizon should be level in this image, and it's not. So I'm going to click here on the one part of the horizon. I'm going to drag my ruler over to the other one and let go. Now, if you're using an old version of Photoshop, previous to CS5, you go to your image menu and you're going to choose canvas image rotation, sorry, and arbitrary. Now, this is going to have um, entered in the values that you need to straighten it. This ruler basically said, oh, this is what I want. And it's going to tell you, oh, and if, in order to make that level, you're going to need to rotate counterclockwise 1.41 degrees. And I can click OK. Now I've got all this crap on the side. So then I need to actually crop my image so I could grab my crop tool. I just press the letter C or I can grab it from the toolbox. And I need to... By the way, if your crop tool is behaving in a funny way and you can't get it to, to draw the shape that you want it to, cancel out and hit your clear button. That's going to clear all your settings and allow you to do a, a crop that, you know, you can crop any way you want. So you can do that and then you can double click and there you go. It's straight. Now, that's if you're using an old version of Photoshop. If you're using a new version of Photoshop, CS5, or presumably anything after CS5, it's the current one at the time of recording of this, I'm going to grab my uh, measure tool with the I key, click. I'm going to drag right here. So I've got my line marking the horizon. And I'm just going to click this button, straighten. And Photoshop will take care of both straightening and cropping for me. So it's a nice little time saver when I actually have to go in and, and crop. Now, in this particular image, I'm thinking that this lawn is not really helping my picture. So I'm going to grab that crop tool again. I just push the letter C, drag it out, and start to bring it up. Now, you'll notice this has a rule of thirds overlay on it. So here we've got this crop guide overlay, and it's got none, grid, whatever. So if you don't see that, click on this little drop down menu, choose rule of thirds. Now, if you like to use the rule of thirds, um, I can place my horizon right here on a one-third of the way in line, and I'm going to click OK. And this composition I find to be a little more pleasing than what we had in the previous one. If I have to print it, it's not really going to fit in a standard print size. But if I'm displaying online, or if I want to make a custom size print, uh, that works perfectly well. So that's how we crop and straighten images inside Photoshop. Uh -huh.